Hey, how's it going everyone? Relax Wolf here. Welcome back. So, we are continuing Metal Gear 1 walkthrough. We're entering the snow field area. Or the snow area. And we are about to face someone. Can you guess? How many rations do we have? Only one. Okay, we can found uh some into uh, you know in the, in, in the arena there he is welcome Cossack this is the end of the road for you right my friends Listen, they agree. How dare you kill my friends? Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? It must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I can't move. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah. Your ancestors, too, were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest. But indeed, ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska, too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics. Yeah, I know it. it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. <laughs> you want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll okay. see if there is Here we go. Okay, so this fight, basically you use the uh, Stinger. You can place uh, Claymores. You can use the Nikita, but uh, C4s work. I mean, if you place them... Uh, if you know where he's going, you can place like C4s and uh, detonate him. But Claymore works... Uh, and a stinger and clay mars basically. Dang it. Okay. I've been thinking of turn. Alright, alright, alright. Let me get up. Don't, don't spam. But make sure to... Where is he going? Let me place one here. Oh, he went back. And don't forget about the, the ones you placed. Because they can get you too.
Yes, come here. Yes, you idiot. And gotcha. Watch out for the containers, the second phase, they will drop. They have loot on them. I think there's a ration in one of the corners. Okay, he's gonna... Oh, made a mistake. That was on me. Also blocks the way the containers that fall. So son of a bitch. You keep running. You keep running. Come on, I, I I think that should have. Yeah. I don't have any rats. Got him. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you, understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. That was not the Dharma Chief. It 
Edward's decoy okay. octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took what? it into himself. <laughs> but he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> That is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake, in the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There is always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching you. Okay, whatever, Raven. Whatever. The Vulcan Raven. Face down. Snake, it's me. Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be... Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Wow. Okay, so Naomi is hiding something. This is the uh, wait, the way back? No, it's not the way back. Uh, we keep going because it's uh, level seven. Uh, it's a level seven door. Um, you have to make sure every time. Can't trust. Okay, so there are two traps and a lot of cameras. Um. Uh, It's okay to walk on the traps. Let's do it fast. Nope. Mind detector. Oh, it. it uh, uh, since we didn't pick it up, they gave it to us here. 
Oh, I missed one. I missed the... Eh, it's okay. Yeah, I think you pick it up earlier than this, but they gave it to you because you kind of need it. Kind of, kind of. It's silent. It's so quiet. And it's Metal Gear. I'm not going that way. I don't care what's in there. I mean, it's a long, long way there. There's a lot of cutscenes that we're gonna see. So let's just uh, go this way. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys, and besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well. I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give okay. it a try. So I'm he's, he's going to try to figure out how to use or how to get the other keys. I know the trick. Can I do it now and not have to wait for him to call me 700 times without giving me the answer? Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. Okay. Uh, we're now on top of the Metal Gear, I think. No, not yet. Let's go. Let me see if there's anything I can. Bastard. That way it can get around all sorts Bastard. of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system, it would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. 
And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world! It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. All right. We're counting on you. All right. We're going to see another cutscene in a bit. ulterior motive he's just looking to get rich isn't he well that's part of it arms tech is in much worse financial trouble than i thought i know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet that plus the reduction in sdi spending it looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover everything was riding on this project i guess and it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the darpa chief bribe money huh yeah and baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernotin, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the presidents. And with the CTBT, that means that China and India. I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes. The president will break. 
He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Arms Tech President. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Galukovic, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And <laughs> what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. Man, we've come a that, long way in video games. Look at the characters here and, and look at Once Death we Stranding, get the DNA for example. And the money, the wow. World will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Outer Big Boss's heaven. dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl, she's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see the override system that the President was talking about? It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a dun, minute. Dun, dun. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. 
Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First, I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Uh oh. Damn. The key fell in the drainage ditch. Snake, this is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Now we need to retrieve the key. To retrieve the key, uh, and uh, do the thing. The key is at the bottom. We're gonna get it. This is where the mind detector comes in uh, into play. Am I gonna get the call? Okay, so there is this. We picked up the pal key, but also there are like bombs and such. So I want to see if there are uh, there's loot up there. Maybe not. Okay. We got the key, now we go back to the terminal. We go back. And we insert in, uh, insert them in, in order. So, since we got the, t uh, the room temperature key right now, we can uh, insert that and then you know, deal with the other two. But there's gonna be a lot of back and forth So you might you might have guessed we need to go to the snow area to make it to make the key uh, low temperature key and then that room that we uh, we saw on the previous episode the the room that we saw the uh, the boiler room that's how we make it uh, a high temp. Okay, let's do this fast. Bro, 
<laughs> I was waiting for it because I remember it's a, it's a cutscene. So we're gonna go back to the snow area where we fought uh, Raven, and it doesn't take long. It's probably a minute. You have to stay there a minute, I think, and then the key will change colors. We have it uh, at room temp temperature, so it's black and yellow. But we're we're gonna have to ride that elevator down. That two two elevators uh, down. To get to the boiler, the boiler, uh, boiler room. I mean, you can call uh, Otacon to have more information, but uh, or more information about how to do it. But I'm not. I know where to go. This is the room with the with the thing. With the, uh... Trap, another trap. Okay, we'll, we'll stay here. We have I think you have to equip the key. I think you have to equip the key. So we'll equip it. It's a uh, uh, black and yellow. Uh, black and yellow. I'm, I'm gonna have to to cut this part because a whole minute of me just standing here is uh, a lot. Okay, so I stayed here for about a minute, and uh, the key now changed colors. Now it's uh, a low temperature key. So we're gonna go back fast and insert that, and then we have to even do more backtracking to to the boiler room. Y'all yeah, probably gonna cut that part too, like when I backtrack up until the sn uh, the snow. And then I'm going to start from the snow since we did it with this one. Oh, not down here. Seen a flute. Uh, ah, come on. Do it, snake. Don't punch the ladder. Climb up the ladder. Climb. That's the word. <laughs> and there's always an annoying soldier here. And since the floor makes uh, noises when you when you walk on him, he's gonna uh, he's gonna hear you. Walk to them. We don't have a radar. Thank you. Appreciate it. I need it. I need rations, honestly. Okay, uh, chaff grenade. He 
You don't have to do the the chapter in order to appear to if you're fast with it, but eh, I like to be safe. Only get spotted when you're walking out. That's my thing. I'll try not to get spotted without throwing a chap grenade. Okay, there goes pal code number two. Next comes pal number three. Warm the key. Can do it this way. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm gonna cut this part uh, and uh, start uh, from the snow uh, arena where we fought Vulcan because we just did that and that, that'll take up a lot of. Yep. Okay, we're back in the snow area and there are soldiers now. So we're gonna backtrack into the. Uh, to go to the boiler's room. Probably after we uh, do the thing. Wait, let me make sure. Yeah, after we do this, uh, we have to wrap up. Do you have chap grenades? Because I need them. Okay, we're, we're going into the, the elevator. It's going to take a long time. There will be nothing here except uh, just us waiting. I think we're going to get a call or something. But that's about it. We will not get attacked or anything. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? No. Fox Dye. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't Did know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try uh -oh. to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure, but he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All leave I it can up do to the Colonel. Is leave it up to the um, Colonel. Yep. Fox die. Fox die. Okay, now we hop on t uh hop onto the other elevator. But don't forget there are mines here. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. So There is a 
camera here too. Okay, we're up, we're up, we're up. Uh, let me make sure. Okay. We're at the boiler's room. It's, uh, it's here. Just, uh, equip the thing. Equip the PAL key. And stay here for a bit and uh, it'll change colors or sizes okay now it's a high temperature key we exit the boiler room and go all the way back so I'll see you guys there snake can you hear me it's Naomi Naomi what the hell Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification, but my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from, my, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I, I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s, a dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Your big brother? Great Fox? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared Great his boss. rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. Big boss. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you, and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. You need two a hobby years. or something. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. 
Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Grey Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox. No. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then... they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then... the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi... What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too. Damn it, Naomi! Do I still have time? Naomi... I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> ah! Snake! <gasps> Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop no Metal bitch, Gear. Colonel. Okay, Snake? Back here for the final key. Pal code number three confirmed. Pal code entry complete. What plot twist? Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Master? Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? 
First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake. So I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made I'll it this you. far by yourself. You figured you? it out yet? Who the hell Who this are person you? is? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole. The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not there Master he Miller. Is. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, Dear brother. you've been talking to me. Liquid! Dear brother. Now, Liquid. Die. How the... <laughs> you've served your purpose. Uh, you man. may die Okay. Now. We gotta wrap up here. We're wrapping up the episode here, but dun dun dun, you know. Uh, that was Liquid, not Master Miller. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Stay tuned and stay safe. Peace.